All right, guys, we're back with top eight Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas, between Nico on the left playing Value Turbo and David Provenzo on the right playing Machina Gadgets. So I showed up late for this tournament, so I didn't enter and was only able to film the top eight. But, you know, I always try to get at least a top cut so you guys can see what decks did well. So Nico gets torrential here and then sets two. Come on, David, heavy him, please. <laughs> but he does. Okay, so David mirrors him and sets two himself. All right, let's see what Nico does now. So a little about these two. Nico's never won on the channel. He's been on, he's been on there a bunch, but he's the, the furthest he's gone, he's gotten second place twice. And David's actually... David doesn't show up as much as Nico, but when he does show up, he does really well. Makes it, he makes, He's made the finals almost every time he's entered, so his win rate is really good. But he's only won once with his gadget deck. Also, his his deck profile that he used a couple months ago is up if you guys want to go look it up on the channel. On the playlist deck profiles, David has a Machina gadget deck that he used uh, back in December, I think. Okay, so Nico tributes Hamster for Caius and targets the Dust Tornado, which David chains and hits Torrential. So David takes 24. Okay, Nico didn't, didn't let David cut the deck. That's unfortunate. They both forgot. It, it, it happens. I, I sometimes forget to let my opponents cut the deck as well. But see. All right, let's see. what is David going to drop the fortress here? Yeah. <clears throat> now, what I'm wondering is. Does David attack? Uh, David's obviously going to attack the Kai's here, but does he attack the Raiko or does he equip to Fortress? So he decides to hit the Gear Frame Mills. Mirror Force, double value, and he pops the Gear Frame. Probably he doesn't want to lose a card in his hand. So see, Nico should have let. I'd be a little upset if I was David because, like, Nico didn't let him cut the deck and he milled double value off of it. But he keeps doing it. I need to talk to him about that. He needs to stop. He needs to stop doing that. That's the second time. He's doing it again right here. He's not letting them cut the deck. And then he special summons Gale. So if he has Fortress here, Dave's going to get a card out of Nico's hand. Is there a level 9 Synchro you can make? Because th this situation comes up often. Where, like, you, you want to Synchro with the Armed Wing, but... Oh no, he's gonna go for Armor Master. Yeah, Armor Master Crash. Oh no, he goes for Black Rose in defense mode. Is he gonna blow up the field? Oh, I think he's gonna blow up the field. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So David chooses not to solemn. Gets Armor Master attacks for twenty five. So David summons Red Gadget. Should David have Solemn there? What would have been the difference? Nico, he would still have the Fortress on the field. And... Oh, maybe, maybe David should have Solemned. Yeah, maybe David should have Solemned there. Because what, what could he have done? Oh, he's gonna get another value play. <clears throat> Nico still would have been able to deal with the fortress, but it would have been like a turn after, because he wouldn't have he wouldn't have been able to summon an armor master. So yeah, may maybe David should have solemn that black rose, and this is game. So I'm not sure if David would have won that game, but he would have been in a. He would have lasted a turn longer had he solemned, I think. All right, so game two, David normal summons gear frame. I, guess for, I hope David cuts his deck this time because that, that was twice where David didn't cut. But see, David keeps handing him his deck, but Nico didn't hand it to him twice. Nico MSTs. Oh, again, compulses the gear frame. I like compulse in that deck. All right. 
So now Nico has a face down and a T set. Let's see what David can do. So he drops the fortress. We know he's got gear frame in hand. That he can pull us back. Does he normal summon it? Okay, so green, get red. I think this is one. Maybe David has a handful of gadgets. Oh, Nobleman's of Ayu. Okay. Still good. 14, 25. I've been telling people if I were to play like a machine deck, I'd probably play Nobleman of Extermination just to like snipe those back rows. So you can drop Fortress and not worry about Bottomless or Deep Prison. Okay, so here David takes 600. So we're at 66, 74. I wonder if Nico sides in like pulling the rug. That's why. That's one thing. One reason why I don't want to play Machina Gadgets because everyone has Cyber Dragon in their side deck, and now you have uh, and and like everyone's side deck can pull in the rug for frogs. So two two cards that really hurt gadgets are in everyone's side deck, or at least in most people's side deck. So that's why I don't like this deck. Apparently, Deck Dev can hurt this deck as well, just because they Deck Dev all your gadgets. So David drops the fortress. Speaking of deck dev, yep, he just deck dev them right here. But this is like not a good time to deck dev. I mean, oh, he hit three cards out of his hand. So I think his hand is heavy and heavy and mocking a fortress. Oh, he he just yeah, he gets rid of the crow. Oh wow, what a what a nice draw by me. Either he had it or he drew it. So this is another reason gadgets might not be a good choice. Okay, this time at least uh, David cut the deck. All right, Nico Summons Trooper Mills heavy bottomless oppression. Tax for hundred. Tax for eleven. So David's hand is not good. All he has is heavy and fortress. He draws Compulse. Not good. Sets Compulse in case Nico tries to kill him. And here... I mean, at this point, yeah, you just... Nico could have summoned the Trooper again if he wanted to, but it looks like he chose not to. So now Deck Dev is over. Three cards in hand for David. I think he drew another Trap card, which is a Bottomless... So Nico Mills Vayu and David Scoops. It looks like David sided Shadow Mirror. So quick 2-0. Just that deck dead was devastating. Uh, Nico's moving on. What's what's crazy is David actually showed up to the local with a and he showed up late, so he took a round one loss and then one out and still made top eight, but then he loses here to Nico. So Nico's moving on. I hope he lets people cut his dead because. That double mill value looks a little, ooh, a little, sh a little shady, but I don't know. I'm gonna talk to him today when I see him and tell him to always let his opponent cut this deck. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that duel. We'll be back soon for our top four and finals. Bye, guys.